Okay guys, so today I want to do a little uh, solar panel update. What happens because I, uh, you know, you guys know that I bought the panels and I'll, I'll, I'll link the video right here for when I installed the panels. Now, even in that video I talk about don't buy these panels yet, even though I put the links up there, just to let you guys look at them and see what I was buying. Uh, and I had a suspicion that they weren't going to put out the wattage uh, that they claimed uh, the panel was going to put out. So after two months now and a lot of testing, and I finally bought a wattage tester. So this tests the watts, uh, the voltage, the current, everything uh, from the panels themselves. So, and then after testing several systems, not just my system, but several other systems, I came to the conclusion that the panels are about 100 watt flexible panels. That's about all they're capable of producing. So I contacted the company I asked them for a full refund. I didn't want the panels, just give me a full refund. Well, because it's out of the, the whatever the, I think it's a 30 day period on Amazon, they weren't eligible for a return, but the vendor did offer to re refund my money. But then I had to ship the panels back to the vendor. Uh, and that made me nervous because this is a vendor outside of Amazon. If it was just shipping it back to an Amazon, uh, warehouse that would be no big deal I would have done it in a half a heartbeat but he wanted to send him back to his warehouse and then he would refund my money so now he has my panels my money and everything so that made me a little bit nervous so what I did is um, at the last minute uh, of negotiations he sends me an email uh, and says would you take a 50% refund of your money because I was uh, after we settled on that I was gonna return the panels I said uh, who's paying for the shipping you know I don't think it was fair that I had to pay for the shipping um, so he then come back and said well how about a 50% uh, refund on your money so I said I'll take that because you know the panel the kit should sell for you know around 399 100 watt panels you know if you're paying a buck a watt it's 400 bucks still a little bit expensive the kit should probably sell for around 299 to 350 somewhere around there that that would be a fair market value for that kit if you're if you're buying it by the wattage. The controllers they got are junk, a anyways, and I knew that going in. But and I do get wattage out of the panels, so you know I decided okay, I will keep the panels. I'll bite the hundred and fifty dollars because I would I wouldn't have spent that quite in shipping. It'd been a little bit less than that in shipping. I would I'm gonna guess it would probably been about fifty or sixty dollars. It would had I had to ship them back to California, but you know they're pretty big packages that I would have had to ship so um, I, it could have been a little more than that actually so anyway I long story short is I accepted his offer he did send me back the money so now I've only paid five hundred dollars for those panels that are up on top of my Bimney and then I'm gonna get add new more controllers to them or a better controller and the, one of the big reasons I bought the tester here is because I wanted to actually see what the panel was doing so I can get the con tr correct controller to get the maximum amount of wattage out of the panels. And there's no sense, you know, if I was gonna buy a 1200 watt, uh, you know, controller, it, that's a lot of watts out of a panel. And that particular controller cost uh, uh, probably around six, $600 for the Vectron version of it, six, $700, somewhere around there. Because the more you go up in your wattage, voltage, and amps, and everything, the, the bigger the controller is and the price jumps real fast. So, but now that I know, you know, that, you know, 400 watts, uh, you know, basically about 15 amps, it's a much smaller controller. So, you know, I only have to spend a couple hundred dollars on the controller and, and then I should be able to get more electricity out of it, uh, you know, by putting a really nice controller on them. So anyway, I'll keep you guys informed on them. I wouldn't recommend these panels for anybody, uh, you know, uh, I can't see a situation where I would ever purchase these panels again. Uh, I may look for a better flexible panel in the future uh, to go up there on the Bimney. But for now, it's what I have, and I'm going to keep them, and we'll see how long they last and stuff like that. Then also up there, I'm going to have to go with uh, probably a hard panel and try and figure out a good way, to, a good option to put hard panels on this boat. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update real quick. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember, live life with no regret. I do.